This video is the recording of an interaction in Texas between a man on a bicycle who had been involved in a car accident and an officer. I would encourage you to stick around and see what this man looks like when he's back at the station being booked for public intoxication. But if you're interested in kind of the police interaction stuff, you can subscribe to our channel and we'll keep uh, posting these. 63, show me out on that auto pit. So, officer right? approaching yeah, people. Yeah, he, he stubborn by getting checked out, but he said he's all right. I'm all right. So we're just... You all right? I told him I want to take no, it down. No, I ain't all right. I need about a, about a million dollars, and then I'll be all right. Well, you ain't getting that, so... Yeah. Me too. Well, no f I'm trying to get him. I, I, he's always you go, up on my You can go ahead so. and get that. I want to get you down. I got that, and, you know, I can put that down. Okay. Even though it's a complicated son of a Yeah. All right. Well, so what do you want to do? I'm gonna take this thing home. 63, he's not injured. No, I'm going to see it. Uh, can, you, uh, can you run Michael Scurlock? So the police says he seems to be not injured? Yeah, he walks up, he looks at him, he says one thing, he says he's not injured. Uh, I don't know if he can make that diagnosis that quickly. He's probably not the doctor who makes the diagnosis, but um, you can see he's walking, he's talking. What do they say? Alert and oriented times mm -hmm. three. Tools at the house, you know where well, I live. You know, hey, you, you didn't do that on purpose. No, sir. 63, did you get my last transmission? You're riding my chicken. I'll come by stop, by stop by the house. You know where I be. I'm glad that you are somebody I know. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. Nope. What do you mean, don't go anywhere yet? Obviously, the two individuals know each other. They're talking to each other. He says, stop by the house. Both seem to be treating each other with respect. Officer's going to take charge of the situation here. Obviously, there was some sort of crash. That seems appropriate at that point. Exactly what the f I mean. I said, Don't go anywhere uh, yet. Hey, what the f And then he starts swearing at the guy. Seems aggressive. Seems aggressive. There's an F I'm done. I was. What? What happened? He, he, he uh, hit me actually. Right EMS is not needed. I was looking that way to go, oh, shit, and I was starting to ease out. And the next time I see a flash in front of him, he goes, I was yeah. worrying about flat. Is a police officer allowed to say EMS is not needed? Are they able to evaluate and make that conclusion? That well, seems in, some, in some instances, maybe yes. I mean, it seems like a lot open for liability because what if he is injured? Well, I think we're going to get there. That's the. I think we're going to get there to that point, and that's certainly the risk. The guy's also getting a little vulgar with the police officer. I mean, getting a little strange, but I think that's part of the police officer's job is to deal with everybody, not just uh, the the easiest yeah. uh, folks to deal with. So. All right, am I through? No. What have I got to do? You got to wait here. What for? Tell me. Till we finish our investigation. Investigation. There ain't matter of no fact, have a seat. Have a seat matter, on the curb. Matter of fact. So this is a really important part. He says, am I free to leave? The, the police can do an investigation, but there's, I don't think, any evidence that he did anything wrong. He's the at victim. At that point. They do have the right to investigate, but I don't think you can stop people from leaving unless you have a reasonable basis to believe that they did something wrong. And, and I don't know if there's any indication that he violated the vehicle and traffic law. Maybe there's at least some. Well, the tone of the cop is kind of insinuating that he is doing something wrong. And I was out there laying. Have a seat on the curb. The, you're not listening to me. Have a seat That's on the curb. That's what you're supposed to do. Have a seat on I, the curb. I hit, she hit me. I mean, he hit me, and I wasn't. I thought he saw me. Hey, have a seat on the curb. I'm gonna Are look for my stuff, young man. All right, turn around. For Come on, now wait a minute. Hey. Relax. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. So this is obviously he's putting his hands on a guy. Kind of to me, sit on the curb. You know, I, I don't know if there's anything to that, but to have a, you know, a guy probably in his 60s or 70 years old, it seems like there's an undertone to that to me. Go, you know, you're going to do what I say and you're going to sit down on the curb where like not don't go anywhere. Not, we got to figure out what happened, but really being very uh, intentionally directive of controlling it, controlling the guy who's obviously riding his bike from well not for nothing but like you know the guy did just get hit by a car maybe he hit his head maybe his erratic behavior could be from an injury 
Sit down. I'll try to have a seat if you'll let go of me. You not you don't hold me. Put your hands behind your back. So now he's taking a guy down who got hit by a car. It's just escalating very quickly. Right. Is he allowed to search his pockets at this point? Uh, he, he hasn't said anything, but I, I don't know what basis there is for a search. He may claim some sort of officer safety. He's now certainly seized. He's in police control and custody. We don't really know why. I guess he would say because he didn't go along with his lawful order, mm -hmm. which I think people would dispute whether or not it was lawful. You need him now. Six to three, go ahead, rolling, uh, rolling ambulance. <clears throat> you heard him, he just called an ambulance. The look on that police officer's face, the other guy, he's like, oh boy. Is he out? Yeah. Huh? Is he out? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> He's like unconscious. I wonder if he's intentionally keeping him out of the body camera frame right there. Come on. So this is this is critically important here. You have the same man a short time later, and he has an obvious change in demeanor. He was able to walk around without any trouble uh, at the scene. He's now barely able to ambulate. A sign of a major head trauma, a change in condition. All police first responders should be trained in that. Change in condition is is important. He did say bring the ambulance. Yeah, where so, did EMS go? I'm not sure the rules about taking people to the hospital versus taking them to get booked. I don't know what he could possibly getting booked for, mm -hmm. uh, for getting hit by a car and, and saying resisting, a, resisting a, a something, something. It's not even arrest. A car for what? No, I don't have a car to get you home with. Come on. Mr. Scarlock, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to a warrior. You have the right to have a warrior present in any interview at the place you're going to You have the right to terminate any interview at any time. <laughs> you don't have to make a statement, but I must warn you, any statement you make can will be used against you. You're charged with public intoxication. If he has a brain injury, do these Miranda rights stand? If he's really not capable of understanding. Yeah, so the standard of Miranda is, is it voluntary? That's Miranda rights are to inform you of your rights. Mm -hmm. So if you choose to make a statement, the statement can be used against you if it's voluntary in nature. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not in the mental state or capacity to yeah. make an informed decision, I would say no. I can tell you in handling thousands of cases, I've never handled one that where a person had a brain injury sustained at or about the time of uh, yeah. the arrest. So that's a relatively unusual fact pattern. Public intoxication, I'm going to set a bond of 581. Can you make bonds, sir? I take that as a no. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? What are we doing? Super interesting part there. They read him as Miranda rights. Say you have the right to remain silent. They ask, then they immediately ask him a question about whether or not he can post bond to get out. He kind of doesn't answer, and they say, I'll take it as a no. Also, doesn't seem to make odd, a lot of very sense. Odd. Uh, contradictory, maybe. Oh, he just went to restoration on the stage. Okay, uh, payment plan or yeah, payment plan? Okay. Oh, how am I here? You got arrested for public intoxication yesterday. I got beat on this today. Having to sign that, fill that out. If it has any information, we'll go from there. Man, I ain't got no way out of here. No, you're getting out. You're getting out. Sign right here for me. Oh, God. Can we get anyone out of the best you can? Man, I can't. This is so sad. Huh? I can't see. 
I can't see. He says he's yeah. obviously stumbling. They, he, do they think he's drunk or something? Maybe. Like, do they not know what happened? Well, they said he's got a laceration on his head. They, they failed to mention the fact that he was just out yeah. cold on the side of the road, face down next to the curb. Yeah, and he was clearly able to speak before that. Yeah. As we go through here, the thing that I think we always come back to is, is the body cameras, mm -hmm. the, the f video footage, because it's the ultimate fairness. We know what happened in this case because they recorded it. And right. if we didn't, you would never know and you wouldn't believe it. Right. Okay. Just sit, sit right there on the bench for me. I think this one got, um, I think this is. God, my. That got. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, hey, you're gonna have to be quiet. You see the guy trying to listen. He's, he's not trying he's trying to listen to that guy he told him to sit on the bench he tries to sit on the bench he he doesn't have the capacity to do that mm -hmm. and the first response is come on you got to listen to what i'm saying this doesn't look like an individual who is trying to be difficult this is someone that looks like something isn't right yes, So what we find out at that point is that this this person had a significant brain bleed, ends up at the ICU, mm -hmm. and it is unfortunate. This interaction, the, this type of interaction at the scene did not have to occur. Right. Well, and it looks like he passed away due to a stroke later. The police officers have been arrested. We'll see what happens with that case. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really critical of the police officers, and, and I don't. I just want to be fair. Right. And I guess what you don't realize are the police officers who have the interaction, who de-escalate. Those are some of the most important interactions between the community and the police. And instead... You know, I don't know about this guy's luck, where he was going, whether or not he had been drinking, but these every interaction with the individuals and the police, you know, they can escalate, they can de-escalate, or they can stay the same. Mm -hmm. And and this one escalated. And, and sometimes it's the individual's fault, and right. sometimes it's the police officer's fault. Mm -hmm. But but those moments in time that no one ever talks about are when the police officer is able to calm everybody down and send them on their way. Right, uh, and that was not this. We highlight the bad, but you know maybe we should highlight the good as well. Right, uh, but that's why procedure and protocol is so important, and it, I don't think that was the correct protocol. No, it's not, and, and I think we're fortunate that there's just more body cameras out there, and it's the ultimate fairness for all involved. Right. Everybody does their job and moves along and goes home. Yeah. And in this case, that didn't, didn't happen. happen. Yeah. We'll continue to review the video footage we, we post here. When there's interesting videos, there, there's a lot of them out mm -hmm. there. We try to give our two cents. I was a, a prosecutor and a defense attorney. We do mostly civil law now. This is more uh, for our own interest, just seeing what's yeah. happening. There's just some crazy, crazy things that happen. Well, but, you'll learn something from this. Yeah, we'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep posting these every you know, week or two as we find good ones and then we're posting all the time about the lawsuits that we're working on as well.